hobby people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to remove press on nails that were applied with acrylic so in case you all haven't seen that video i'll leave a link down below and i absolutely love that method because i do get i always get like four plus week wear so with the, this is what the nails are looking like after six weeks you all can see the new growth here okay same thing over here Okay, so um, first thing you want to do when you're removing your press-ons is you want to go ahead and clip down the length of your nails. So I'm going to do that with this clipper here really quick. I finally got me another one, y'all. And I'm just going to clip it down to where my natural nail is because I think I might wear my natural nails for a little bit. Okay, so now that the nails have been clipped, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to go ahead and use this uh, e-file that I just got from Amazon. I do have a review of this on my channel. I'll go ahead and leave it um, linked down in the description box below so y'all can see my unboxing of it. But I want to put it to the test. So I'm going to use my Melody Suzy um, dust collector here. And I think I'm going to use this on like maybe like a medium speed. Do this low, medium, high. I'm gonna do it on medium for now. Let's turn on my dust collector here. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna say I'm pretty impressed with this nail drill. It's actually really powerful. That took off that gel polish with like no issue, like at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the nails off camera and I'll be right back. All the nails have been taken off. Um, I do highly recommend this dust collector, so I'll leave that link down in the description box below. And yeah, y'all, this um this nail drill is very powerful. I like it a lot, actually. It like ate through this gel polish off my nails so yeah, if y'all are in the market for a good rechargeable affordable nail drill I do recommend this the next step here after everything has been removed is to um, protect your cuticles so I'm gonna go ahead and use this aquaphor baby ointment it's really just like Vaseline right and I'm gonna take a little bit of this I'm gonna put it on all of the cuticle areas of all my nails and that's just to uh, make sure you know there's some hydration that stays and on the nail or in the cuticle area, just so it doesn't dry my skin out too, too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. Oops. Oh, I didn't even need to put it on there. So, yeah. That is that. And then I'll you know, just do it like this. And I do have this bowl that I got from Amazon. Typically, people will put hot water at the bottom of their bowl, but I actually put hot rice at the end of my at the bottom of my bowl. What you want to do is just take your rice, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute, let it get nice, hot, and warm. Um, and this helps um, maintain the heat and helps the soak-off process go a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and secure this bowl here, like so. Okay. And then, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and apply acetone to all of the 
sections here. All right, and after I apply acetone to everything, then I'll go ahead and put my hands in and I'll soak. And I'm gonna soak for about, I would say 10, 15 minutes and then I'll be back, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and prep my other bowl off camera um, so I can soak both off camera. So you put your hand in like this, you soak for about 10, 15 minutes and then you'll cover it with a towel um, and all of the heat and that steam will help soak off the nails a lot faster. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Alrighty, so I just finished soaking both of my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on camera how I remove this hand and then I'll do this one off camera. But <clears throat> you'll just want a paper towel, okay? Put this here. And then you'll want your removal tools. So I typically use these two tools to remove my press on nails. And I'll start off with this one here. And I'll do just one finger at a time. And so I'll go ahead, well, let me show you guys how it all looks. So this is how the nails look coming straight out of the acetone. And I'll just take my time and I'll scrape off each nail individually. And I like to leave one hand in because it allows, um, it allows the, um, the other hands to continue to, the other fingers to continue to soak while you're removing everything. You see it comes right on off, it flakes right on off. So go ahead and just scrape all these press-ons off and then we will be all done you guys. If any part of it still feels stuck or not ready to come off, okay that one had it popped off. So yeah, this nail is all done now. All right, so I'm going to do the next nail. Yep, just pops right on off. So I'll go ahead and repeat that process on all the nails and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people. So it may look like I'm being kind of rough on my nails, but I'm actually not. I'm just gently scraping the surface of the nail to see what product will actually naturally come off. And whatever doesn't come off with the light scraping, I'll go ahead and soak it in the acetone. Alrighty, so this is what my nails are looking like after they have been soaked off. The next thing I'm going to do is just go in with a little bit of lotion and just rehydrate my nails because, baby, they are dry, okay? <laughs> Crusty, dusty. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put some lotion all over. Okay, just like so. And then I'm also going to go ahead and apply some cuticle oil to all the nails. And with my cuticle oil, I normally go ahead and also put it on the actual nail itself um, because the nail plate also just got, you know, really, it just got banged up with all that acetone. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and do like this. There you have it. This is how the nails look after they've been soaked off. Oh my gosh, yes. Happy to have my natural nails back. I'm probably going to sport them for a few days. And then I want to do some Gelex nails. I just got that new Model Ones Gooseneck Lamp in. And I'm excited to use it. So I'm going to be doing some Gelex nails next. But let me know how you all soak off your nails. Um, and then also really quick, a tip for how to clean this out. Um, with acetone, you don't want to pour this down the drain because it could mess up your piping. What you'll want to do is you'll want to, um, you want to just take a paper towel here and put it into each of the little cubby thingies and just absorb all that acetone um, and then throw it in the trash. Uh, but if you try to 
um, pour this down the drain, it won't be good for your piping. So that's just a quick little tip. But yeah, you go into each one and just let the paper towel absorb the acetone and then you just throw the paper towel in the trash. So that's just a quick little tip for cleanup there. And what's nice about soaking off this method is as you can see, there's no damage to the actual nail. So this is the best way to safely remove press-on nails without any nail damage at all whatsoever. Let me know what you all think about this video and let me know how you all remove your press on nails. And next I'll be doing some Gelex nails. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.